Hey guys, welcome back to JK Fishing, and today we're going to be doing a reel review on the Okuma Metaloid 12 size 2 speed lever drag reel. First off, I'm going to go over the specs. So, the first main thing about this reel that really caught my attention when I was looking for a nice lever drag reel was the drag. A reel this size has 34 pounds of drag at full and at strike a maximum drag of 27. So that is a really great aspect of this reel. It is a one piece aluminum frame on the reel, pretty solid. And I've, I'm gonna be honest, it's, you're not really gonna dent this reel much, scratch this reel, it's a pretty heavy duty reel. It does have a ratchet drag, which is awesome because that way when you accidentally bump your drag, it's not gonna move much or it won't move at all. That is one thing that I like about this reel. And it does have a clicker that comes with it too. The clicker is moderately loud, not the loudest, but it's still pretty good. No complaints about it. I mean, pretty loud if you guys can hear that. And the handle does have an egg knob. This is a hard rubber material. The two speeds on this reel are 5.2 to one around that and a 2.2 to one. Just click this back in if you want to go to high speed and then push it down if you want to go to low speed. So pretty easy to use that. The harness lugs on this thing, they do have it, but you have to unscrew this, which could be a little bit of a hassle if you're trying to fight a big fish and you're hooking a big fish and you, uh, you want to fight a fish, you might not be able to. And on this side of it, you do have to take off this piece of the drag to access this harness. The line capacity on this reel, this is 30 pound mono, has about 320 yards. And if you're looking to put 80 pound braid, it holds about 350 yards of it. So for a reel this size, if you're going to buy a reel this size, then just know what to expect with the line capacity. But it's still a pretty good reel. This uh, reel is pretty heavy. It uh, weighs 24.9 ounces. But that does show you that it's made with uh, quality components. On the inside, it has all stainless steel components and is a fully sealed reel some of the fishing applications that we use it for are bottom fishing uh when you're fishing for grouper snapper and you want to get those big fish off the bottom you can crank it into a low gear ratio and bump up your drag and you can get them off the bottom before they put you in a rock uh, you can use them for kite fishing if you put like 40 pound braid on it you hold lots of line it's over 600 yards in line and the uh, the drag is pretty good and small enough reel that you can put on kite rods uh, I do use it for pier fishing. You can cast this reel pretty decent amount. Um, you just got to make sure that you keep pressure on it. Otherwise, it'll backlash because it doesn't have a casting break. And you can use it for trolling. If you're trolling for like mahi or even like smaller tuna, stuff like that. Um, one, A few complaints I have about this are the size of it. This is a 12 and they own the 12 is the biggest size of this model of reel. However, they do have the Andros, which is the, it's almost like a newer model and a little bit of a bump up in this reel. They do have that in the 16 size. So if you're looking for getting a bigger reel, uh, I would definitely suggest going with the Andros. But all in all, it's a pretty good buy. Right now it's actually on sale on clearance for $209 at West Marine. And the great thing about Okuma products is they give you a three year warranty on this reel. So if you guys ask me what my opinion is, I really think that this is a great reel. We're even going to use it for salmon fishing this year. And very versatile, pretty good price, strong, good reel, and I highly suggest it. Anyways, that's all for JK Fishing today. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out our other content, and we'll see you next time.